20 years ago, Michael Davidson, an instrumental music teacher at Hertfordshire Music Service, has started to think about how music services could become more relevant and valuable to their local communities. Michael knew that other music services would also be wondering, how do we show the full value of music? Since 2018, leaders, managers and teachers from 70 music services across England have been working together to explore this through a multi-hub national research partnership. They've been involved in a programme called Changing Tracks, a centre of excellence led by Hertfordshire Music Service, supported by Music Mark and backed by Youth Music, thanks to the National Lottery via Arts Council England. The research has also been supported by Michael's PhD from SOAS, the University of London which explored how music services can adapt to benefit the young people who most need music. When we started Changing Tracks in 2018, we looked at what teachers had written about inclusive education in schools. They described it in this way. When young people are excluded, they don't have opportunities to learn. At the segregated stage, they're taught separately to the main school. At the integrated stage, they're learning what other pupils learn alongside them. At the inclusion stage, whole school learning changes as a result of including these pupils to the benefit of all. When music services begin thinking about inclusion, we often focus on integration, skipping the segregation stage. Changing Tracks has found that we learn more about inclusion from the segregated stage, which often happens in settings such as pupil referral units, youth clubs and special schools. Here, teachers respond to the young people we don't usually reach, finding out about their musical interests and how they learn best. Genuine inclusion or equity begins when we make this offer available throughout the whole service, providing the resources for all teachers to adapt their work to the needs and interests of all young people. So what conclusions have we come to? It seems it all comes down to reframing the purpose of music services. When music services see beyond technical excellence, To also embrace personal and social outcomes, learning music can have more value to all children and young people, families, communities and schools. And that means music services have a bigger impact, attract greater funding and become more resilient. Changing Tracks has found that each music service is different, but here are some of the ways that we found helpful to embedding inclusion across whole organisations. Number one, look for your inclusion allies. Begin by investing time and money in partnerships with non-music people and teams who value the personal and social outcomes of learning music. They help you find and work with young people you don't usually reach. Number two, listen to what these young people like and need and set up a targeted inclusion programme that responds to this. Number three, look for which of your current staff would be good to involve. Some may have done this work before and others will be keen to get involved when they hear about it. Number four, bring together music teachers and inclusion teams to discuss how to adapt their practice to the young people's needs and interests. Number five, adapt your existing resources. For example, you could update your instrumental or vocal teacher job descriptions to attract more diverse staff, update your report writing to track wider outcomes, broaden your progression pathways, track benefits to disadvantaged children in your data systems, Most importantly, include inclusion outcomes in your quality assurance processes. Changing Tracks has found that how we best learn about all of this is by sharing ideas and challenges openly with our peers. Find out more about what we learned and how you can advance your action on inclusion using the link below.